Hey, welcome to the Learning Fun Show. Today, our daily math practice, we have a couple problems that we want to do. So make sure you get a piece of paper or your math journal and let's get started. Okay, what I want you to do first of all is you're going to answer this problem here. How many stars are in all? So I want you to count the stars and then give me the answer. The next problems that I want you to do is 11 plus 14, 33 plus 21, and 22 plus 11. And then down here, I want you to go ahead and fill in this blank right here. There's some number right there, plus three that equals seven. So see if you can figure out what goes in this blank right here. And then our story problem of the day is, horse wants to buy an apple for 15 cents. What two coins does horse need? And I'll give you a hint. It's gonna be either some nickels, dimes, or pennies. So I'll let you choose that. And right now, go ahead and pause the video and you're, when you're ready to go over the answers, unpause it. All right, let's get started here. How many stars in all? Looks like I have almost like one, two, three groups, don't I? I have three groups, and in each of those groups, how many stars are there? There's one, two, three, four. Sometimes what I like to do with a group is I like to circle the group like this. Here's a group of four, there's a group of four, and there's a group of four. So I could count it out. I could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there are 12 stars right here. So the answer would be 12 stars. So just kind of an introduction to multiplication that you're gonna get into later on this year. There's three groups of four. So here's a group of four here, a group of four here, and a group of four there. So that problem is actually three times four. So that's kind of an introduction to multiplication, but that's kind of how you do it. All right, let's go on to our next problem here. I'm gonna go ahead and erase this four here so it doesn't get in the way of our next problems. And we have two digits plus another two digits. All right, we kind of have little rules when we add a two digit number with another two digit number and you always add the ones first. So what I want to do right here is I'm gonna add the ones. This is the ones group right here. So four plus one, what is that? Four, five, very good, all right. Let's add the tens. This is then the tens group right here. So one plus one, <laughs> really good. Dos, two. All right, let's go on to our next problem here. Let's add the ones again. This is the ones. So three plus one, three, four. Open the door, three, four, open the door. All right, let's go ahead and add the tens. Three plus two is three, four, five. Five. All right, next problem. Two plus one, what is it? You're right, three. And we add the tens in here. Two plus one again, three, 33. All right, now we have our next problem. There is a missing number right there, isn't it? Some number plus three equals seven. Okay, we could use subtraction to figure this out, couldn't we? Yeah, so we could go seven minus three. Do you remember what seven minus three is? Yeah, four. So let's try that. Let's put a four right here. Four plus three, four, five, six, seven, equals seven. Send from heaven. Hey, you guys are doing awesome today. Let's take a look at our math story problem of the day. Horse wants to buy an apple for 15 cents. I know, horse, I know you're getting hungry. Hold on there. What two coins does horse need? Now let's take a look at some coins right here. We have a penny, which is worth one cent, and a nickel, which is worth five cents, and a dime, which is worth 10 cents. So what two coins would equal 15 cents? You're right, a dime and a nickel. 10 plus five would equal 15. 
So 10 cents plus 5 cents would equal 15 cents. So that way horse can buy his apple. Yeah, horse is really excited here. And I am super excited that you are joining our show a lot here. Make sure you check out our other videos on here and have a fun day. Adios.